So these are two uh, metal pieces that I've tried out here. Um, I did an addition of five, so there's five of this 14 inch and there's five of the copper or the 24 inch. But basically what I was trying to do was have, so there's only a run of five of each, but have each of the five completely different than the other. So then there's only one of that five in the entire world. Um, this one I did with a pounded copper paint. So it has like more of a rustic spot in areas, but it's all pounded. You can see holes. This one's, uh, I'm not sure if you can see the reflection in there, but that's pounded uh, black paint. And it basically gives the metal like nice aged look. It looks really neat. It's, I really like it. Uh, depicting the raven, like just taking off, just taking his flight, like he sees his prey, so he's going to go after it. But um so this one because of the color i was trying to be like hey well it's copper so then I try to blend the copper together so i used a, a coffee stain in the background a nice dark stain and then to flip it this one has the black pounded look so i decided i'll use this one just as a natural um, on the three quarter inch standoffs so it stands up and you can get reflections of the wood in the background of the design, depending on which way you're looking at it. also depends on which way the sun is, but it gives the piece more movement as you walk through the room. You're going to see like different shadows between the piece. Um, so I wanted to start using the metal work for a while now. Um, for the first pieces of metal, then, like I really want to try to use metal and mix it in with the traditional mask as well, like maybe make a sun mask and have the, the rays of the metal and different things like that so this would be the beginning of uh trying new things